welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So I've had a few deliveries today. Um, some that I, I probably wasn't even thinking about, to be honest with you guys. Um, so carrying on with money that I got for Christmas, I have bought countless amount of clothing, which has showcased through the month of December. And some people were like, well, why have you had your presents early? I had money this year, so I bought anything that I wanted to see that I fancied, that I liked. Rather than getting lots of things that I probably wouldn't use, I wouldn't need, or end up selling through the year, um, which sometimes does happen. And it's not because I'm ungrateful or anything. It's just that I just don't have the need for it. So this year, my family have said, do you know what? You're at that age, obviously at the age of 42, that you'll probably find a lot more for your money than we would and you know I have made my money stretch I like to make my money stretch I like to find the cheapest possible bargain don't get me wrong there is things that I like to buy that's a little bit high end but I will save for that or if I can't have it I just can't have it it's just the way it is so guys as you know I bought a lunar cardigan from the black it was a black friday deal I paid $23.99 it's fluctuated in <coughs> price ever since then <coughs> excuse me guys i think it's now on the 20 percent um sale with killstar and i think it's i don't think it's it's 29.99 i think now so it has gone up in price compared to what i paid for it so guys as you know that cardigan wouldn't zip up you know aesthetically it was fine you could see it. it didn't look like there was anything wrong with it and there wasn't anything wrong with it apart from the zip wouldn't zip up it's small minor thing but for me, it was a big thing because I like to zip up my cardigans because I get cold. I like to keep warm. So, guys, I am wearing my Necessary Evil top. Um, since I tried it on, it's a little bit tighter. I don't know if my arms have grown, but it is feeling a little bit tighter. I know we have the thumb insert, which is great, and it stops the um, top from lifting back up to your shoulders. But at the minute, it's pulling it so far down that... I'm revealing my bra so I'm just going to keep it out with the thumb things for now while I'm sat down when I'm stood up it's all right but when I'm sat down I'm hunched and it's kind of pulling the top right down I've actually got my velvet trousers on as well guys so it does actually look like I'm wearing a jumpsuit let's see if I can show you guys so I am wearing my velvet trousers they go absolutely lovely together guys they really really do now these trousers that i've got on weren't bought from any kind of um alternative shops they were bought in a normal shop i can't remember the name of it i have got the price tag upstairs the price tag for these are 63 pound guys i paid i paid three pound so it shops to bargain um it bargains to shop yeah it pays to to shop around to find the cheapest thing so guys i've had two kill star so i've got my replacement cardigan which i'm absolutely made up i would really like to be giving a shout out to robin from kill stars um customer service <coughs> it took a while for her to understand what i was trying to say to her like show her but we got there in the end and the other item is another one of my christmas presents that i ordered with see i got money before christmas which was great like for my mom and what have you for my dad and i bought what i needed to buy but like other family members that i put money in the cards i didn't get until christmas day which is why i've, I've ordered things at christmas day night and it, it has took a little bit long to get here but that's because it's the christmas period so that one item is this one here i think this is probably the last the last thing I'm going to buy in this kind of thing from Killstar now, unless something else pops up that takes my fancy. But I waited to get this on the reduced price. And I think this, I can't remember the, the actual price, guys, but hopefully it will stay inside. So let's crack it open and see. This is why I couldn't do a video of this is what I got for Christmas, because a lot of my things have been scattered around, literally. And I couldn't be bothered to go searching for everything so instead i did it this way so guys yes so i paid 19.99 for this and i think it was a lot more than that i thought if it was maybe 23.99 before then just check they don't put the cards in anymore guys is there a reason for that or is it just for new new 
kind of people i don't know but here it is guys it comes in this plastic bag with the kill style logo on and as you know they do keep them in this bag which keeps them stops them from getting moldy or anything like that Woohoo! kind of nice little bag i keep these I keep all of these in these bags because um, in my wardrobe it can get a little bit damp. So, right guys, so it's well wrapped up and you're probably going, I know what that is. I just know. So guys, as you know, I bought the um, Cornflake Gothflakes bag, which I'm using at the minute. I absolutely love it. It can be a two in one. It's a backpack and a handbag. Very, very big as a handbag, I must say. I do like it as a backpack. The only problem is I struggle a little bit getting it off my back once I've got it on as a rucksack because I can't twist my shoulders in that, in that way. Um, and I got the um, milk bag, which I absolutely love. I've used that since. Um, I will do a whole review on all these after Christmas. And I got the Cafalete bag that has a straw in the middle. I've not used that one yet, guys, but I will. So when this came out, I was like, oh no, stop it. I don't want any more but I have to have it because it's so goddamn cute. So guys, <laughs> I had to have it. It was the baby version of the, the two that I've got. So there's the straw and it's in like this bent kind of design as the other one that I've got is quite, this one's quite sturdy as the other one's quite soft. So it kind of bends about everywhere. And then, Oh God, I'm in love with this bag already. So let me just pull out the zip. Woohoo! I'm just going to keep that inside because it gives you the illusion that it's full. And when a bag's full, it packs out properly. So guys, I absolutely love handbags with chains. I've got bags that are not kill star or not branded or anything like that, that have got chain straps. Um, I would just prefer to have strain at uh, strain chain strap. So just pull it off, guys. Right there we go. It was well packaged, Killstar. I'll give you that. So this is the <laughs> I love it. This is the goth milk, and it's a just not just for ghost, non dairy and fat free, two hundred and forty ml, and it says school school brief. <laughs> <laughs> Skullberry flavour, so it's supposed to be strawberry, it's Skullberry. And it's got the Kill Style logo on there. And then at the side it has the nutrition facts, which I absolutely love. It's blank at the back. Oh, look, the strap is so sturdy and strong, guys. So it's a very, very sturdy, strong strap. And it's attached like the side bit there. Oh, I love it. So this, um, I got like money off. I got the odd 20 quid in the card here and there and the other 20 pound in the card here and there. As you know, I got the um, Necessary Evil buy one, get one free. I got 20 pound in my card and with that, obviously, I bought them tops because it was buy one, get one free and I paid, one of the tops was 14.99, the other was 19.99. So I paid 20 pound. I paid for my postage. Same with this, I paid for the postage. But I got another 20 pound in my card and this paid for this bag and i thought i said well 20 pounds spent now usually guys i would never in a world in my wildest dream pay 20 pounds for a bag you can ask my my family they will tell you i've always gone for the cheapest possible bag as gothic as i could find but cheap as chips so these handbags are way high end for me when it comes to prices anything more than like 30 pounds for a bag i would i would never ever 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 pay for but isn't it cute, guys? And then the label is this little coffin label. I keep my labels. It says, we are the weirdos. Kill start. Goth milk handbag. <laughs> I love it. Now, let me just demonstrate what a bag looks like. So this is a handbag, not a backpack. So it would go on your bag, on your back this way. Oh, how cute is that? And then off we go. Now, I don't know what you could fit in here, guys. Let's have a look what we could fit in here because at the minute I have got my Killstar Book of Shadows phone cover. Um, I wouldn't recommend this phone cover, guys. I'm going to go and change it back to one of my other ones. My phone keeps popping out of it and I'm scared of it popping out and smashing on the floor. So when you take all the packaging out, 
I keep the impression of saying it is a fair size guys but I wouldn't oh my phone does actually fit in it with that cover on but my cover I'm going to put back on it is smaller so it probably would still fit in there anyway there is no like insert to put your money or anything but like I said before in my other videos I have a little like coin skull purse you could stick all your money in there and then stick it in there as long as you can fit the likes of your phone your little purse you can fit a little bit of makeup in there what more do you need in your bag obviously i have a fold away brush as well everything i have compacts into small for that reason because i don't like bringing massive bags out with me when i go out because i have got a habit of losing my bags so yeah that is absolutely brilliant so 19.99 i think it's still at that price at the minute guys because obviously that won't fit back in now obviously they've got the 20 percent off sale so um if you like this go and get it if you've never bought from killstar i will put my link underneath you can get five percent off i know it's not a lot but every little bit counts um what do i get i probably get some points added onto my account i'm not right bothered to be honest with you because i don't really want to spend next year just spending all my money on killstar some people that that's their um things that they want to do but for me i'll only buy things that really really pull on my heart that i really really want so that's that guys so i'm gonna i can use that whenever i want now because it was for christmas but that was that and then here is my replacement cardigan it's very very heavy it came on the same day so that means they must have either waited or sent it at the same time or this one's just come quicker because it's back to normal core kind of postage. So guys, oh lovely. Right, and that's that. And then it has on here the Stella Luna cardigan um, XXL because I did stick it to the same size that I ordered. And obviously the price is zero. Um, it, it says it should have been $49.99. So that must have been what the cardigan was originally. And then it's in the normal Killstar bag. Um, I, I, I felt really bad because I don't like to complain, really. I'm not really a, a complainer, but I just thought I absolutely love this cardigan and I really want to zip it up. So for that reason, do you know what I mean? I had to say something because it can't be fixed. So if it could be fixed, I would have just fixed it, guys, to be honest with you. Yeah, that one's, I can, straight away, guys, I can see a difference. And I mean straight away. And that's not, not me just saying that. So, guys, here it is. Automatically, I can tell just by holding the cardigan that this is better. You can tell it's a lot better. It's straighter. Before, it was all bagging up and everything. It was driving me nuts. So, guys, oh, yes. Yes, that is that is perfect. Now, guys, I know I've got my thingy on at the minute, but let me just, let me just try it on. Let me just try it. Oh, I can't try it on with my thumb circle. Hang on. Let's see if I can try it on. Oh, I can't try it on, guys, because of the, the velvet. No, it won't let me try it on. For some reason, the velvet's making it all hush up. Right. Let me just try and zip it up naturally because when I tried doing that before, it wouldn't let me do it. Right. So if I hold it up here, guys, so you can see. Now, my other cardigan just did not zip up at all. Yep, that is perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Brilliant. Thank you, Robin. That is brilliant. Um. I'll go and try it on when I take this, this top off, but velvet seems to stick to this material and it wouldn't like to zip up. But you can, it just looks different. Like, it really does look different than the other one. Like, the material looks different. Obviously, it's not. It's the same. Let me just check the hood and everything. Make sure there's no... Because I saw a little bit of cotton dangling there and I was like, oh, what's that? That's all right. It's only a little bit. Take that off. Yeah, everything seems perfectly fine. I like it. I'm happy. Fantastic. So, guys, I always there's only one thing I ever say. I mean, I've worked in retail and I've dealt with like customer complaints and stuff like that. I will say 
and some people may agree and some people may not agree that's entirely everybody's got an opinion i always think that when you're um even if you're really angry the way you talk to customer service pays if you was to contact them and you was effing and jeffing and shouting and screaming and threatening and stuff like that they tend to dismiss you from the get from the get-go so they were just like well if you're going to speak to me like that, I'm not going to speak. I'm not going to treat you with respect. But if you speak to them with a little bit more decorum and a little more at ease and explain, and you know, hold your your anger, even though you're really angry because what you've bought is damaged. It's technically it's not their actual fault. Whoever sent it out of the warehouse, they're at fault. They should have checked it. But um, the way you speak to them pays because they will they will treat you with the same kind of respect and I think with Robin <coughs> from the beginning I was really really calm I tried I know when she was like there's nothing wrong with it I don't understand it da, da. I could feel myself going Ugh! but I thought no you know I can I can see where she's coming from it's very hard to see from a picture what is wrong with it so when I thought I'll do you a video and that way I can show you straight away she was like I get you I understand what you mean I can see the material gathered at the bottom I can see the zips not going up that's fine and straight away a replacement one came straight to me I didn't mind sending the other one back because why would I want to but straight away she said I don't do what you wish with the other one do you know what I mean it, it is technically it isn't any good to anyone it won't zip up but I could sell that for a, for a tenner and somebody would buy it even though it don't zip up I, I'd say that the zip's damaged but I'm not I'm gonna keep both of them guys because I'm greedy <laughs> with that said that is the end of this kill start Please pop a comment below if you do want to see some more Killstar next year. If you don't, tell me. I'd, I'd like to know. I mean, for my birthday, I am going to buy something from Killstar. I would like to buy a coat, but I'm not too sure if I want to buy a coat from Killstar or from EMP. I, my last coat came from EMP, and the coat before that came from EMP. So, um, and I've had nothing wrong with it. I have had issues with EMP in the past, but again it was resolved um but yeah pop your comments on below let me know what you think of that bag i'll pop the comment the link below for that and i will link the lunar cardigan below because it is a really nice cardigan it's not very thick in its material guys um i will wear this and wash it and then we'll come back and see what it's like same with like this now i'm gonna wear this and see how i fare it's keeping my hands warm that's for sure all right guys take care and i'll see you on the next one bye for now